Hello everyone, Manthrall here, and welcome to the OSRS up, uh, weekly update video. Now this week, uh, we have a few changes here. So first up, we're going to be, you know, uh, the main thing is the Theater of Blood new modes. Um, so, the first thing is the Theater of Blood hard mode changes as of May 6th. So, the category and there's changed. Uh, Nilocus at 1330 BST, the splash damage from the range Nilocus boss range attack has been increased in hard mode. And Sotet uh, at 1315 BST, increase the damage ball attacks in hard mode when the intended mechanic is not handled correctly. Uh, Verzig Vitir at, oh, Verzig first is at 1315 BST, increase the damage of the green ball attack at phase three and then at 1315 for Vitir, you can no longer tick eat the damage of the yellow ball attack in the 2ob hard mode and timings at 1850 bst increase the three four five player comp completion requirement uh, re required times by two minutes each so there's some additional messaging in game to accompany this change they expect to continue refining that over time. Uh, and some issues and hot fixes. I don't know why I keep saying May 6th. Because uh, it is pretty far from May 6th now. Uh, issue raises the scoreboard is not displaying correctly. And this has been fixed at 1230 BST. Uh, this issue is now resolved. And the scoreboard will now display times correctly. Sorry. And at 12... 40 BST, the maze is not resetting correctly in the story mode. And at 1250 BST, uh, the maze will now reset correctly. Uh, Theater of Blood has new modes. So we have, of course, uh, the hard mode and story mode. And the experience of the Theater of Blood on your own terms. So when you create a party you'll notice on the notice board, uh, you'll be able to select the mode to play. And parties will be showcased alongside their modes. Uh, Versic Vitir has issued a new challenge and the mysterious stranger has a new request for you to fill. Time to head to the theater. So the hard mode is, this is the most challenging version of Theater of Blood of course, and it is seriously gnarly. They, have, they haven't just increased the monster stats like the Chambers, Chambers of Xerix challenge mode. Most rooms have completely new mechanics or tougher twists than on the existing ones. So, you must have completed the normal Theater of Blood at least once to access the new mode. Uh, the time thresholds for the hard mode are based on a total raid time. It's as hard as the title suggests though, so keep that in mind. But here are some of the rewards. So there's a weapon ornament kit. Um, the, uh, these are untradeable ornament kits that allow you to transform the following items into Ceridomen themed versions. So we have the Grazi Rapier, the Sanguesti Staff, and the Scythe of Viture. Uh, the latter item also boosts the second ornament kit, the Sanguine Ornament Kit. So, kind of cool. Uh, which will give you a vampiric look to your weapon, so that is pretty awesome. And if you see here, you actually have, can see the different uh, effects it has on each one. And then the kit is destroyed though on PvP death, dropping the regular item it was attached to. These kits are now included in the collection log for the Theater of Blood. To apply them, you simply click on the kit and uh, followed by the corresponding item. But if you wish to change all weapons in one fell swoop, you'll need three holy ornamental kits and a sanguine ornament kit. Uh, if you change your mind about your new gear, the process can be quickly reversed by right-clicking and selecting Dismantle. Uh, we also have the Lil Zik Metamorphosis. So you'll have a chance to grab yourself some of the Sanguine Dust sprinkled over your Lil Zik to turn it into a transmog based on the Theater of Blood bosses. This includes the Maiden of Sugudetin. <laughs> Sorry if I, I butchered that one. Pestilent Bloat, Nylacos of Asilius, Sotetseg, and Zarpus. You only need 
one sanguine dust to access all of Lil Zex transmogs. And you can freely switch between them once the pen is transformed, so you don't have to worry about constantly getting more to do that. Uh, hard mode also has the following perks. So you have unique slash purple rates are slightly increased. Uh, regular loot quantities are increased. Regular loot quantities are further increased if completed within a certain time limit. And the ratio of Afrinic to other uniques is slightly lower. Then you also have a night at the theater. So the mysterious stranger lurks outside of the theater of blood. Uh, the centerpiece of the Sarazen Haza. Uh, this shadowy figure has a new request for you to humiliate the vampire noble known as Lady Verzik Matir. Take on the challenges that lie, or take on the challenges that lie within the theater to reach her and bring a blush to her bloodless face. So the requirements are as follows. Uh, to be able to complete the night of the theater, you only need to have the following quest, Priest of Peril, and the following levels, uh, recommended anyway, is level 90 combat. Now, if you don't want to hear this next part, this is the rewards, uh, maybe mute the video or whatever, uh, for a little bit, but upon a completion, you'll be rewarded with uh, two times 20k experience combat lamps and two quest points. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, this quest can be completed in a 1A mode and has been pre-designed primarily for story mode. So you also have story mode that comes with the Theater of Blood. Um, and this same standard structure as normal with the actual mechanics mostly unchanged. This will include lower stats across all NPCs and the story mode can be completed solo or as part of a group. However, you'll have the benefit of three lives to compete with. So, those three lives will be counted as a safe death, and if you lose one, you'll be teleported to the entrance of the last boss you fought, uh, apart from Hardcore Iron Man, who will still have a loser status on the first death. So, keep that in mind, Hardcores. Uh, if you die after three lives are used, a normal death will occur, and you will have to claim your items back and retry from the beginning. So, although story mode yields rewards, they have heavily reduced rate compared to the existing mode. Uh, and you won't have a chance to grab any of the uniques, including the pet. Uh, so you will have to, however, get to lose your in thrilling narrative, but without the usual amount of pressure. So go on, take a bite. Use it as practice, essentially. Uh, other changes is on the scoreboards, there are two new options for the story and hard modes. Uh, so you can keep track of your times and completions at different difficulty settings. Like I said, practice. Uh, so personal bests have been split into group sizes, similar to Chamber of Zarek. Your existing personal best has been automatically, automatically moved to the five man group size, as it is the fastest potential scaling. In any mode, each boss will now drop their corresponding book as you defeat them, allowing players to absorb the story as they progress. Uh, so these informative tomes can be found on the bookcase within the treasure room as well. And when using the mid-raid chest, uh, you can select from previous quantities of a particular item you have brought or bought, rather than inputting the number every time. Uh, special attack power will continue to regenerate when you're inside the Theater of Blood and Chambers of Zarek raids. Uh, special attack energy will restore them to full when entering the Theater of Blood while remembering how much energy you had when you entered the raid. So when you exit the raid, your energy will return to where it was when you entered. Uh, this is the same system implemented for the Six uh, Jads Challenge. Players can now only buy one stamina potion for mid-level chest. This is to discourage players from obtaining an excessive amount of stamina potions. Clans. So last week we saw the clans be fully released. And there's a lot of communities starting to emerge now. And a little bit of insight as of 11 BST, you know, Wednesday, June 2nd. So 5,700 clans formed. The 119,000 players in a clan, 6.2 million clan chat messages sent. That is pretty, pretty fantastic. Uh, so they are <coughs> looking at different quality of life changes, of course. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
but you know of course you know things take some time to implement but feedback is still always welcome so keep that in mind and worlds 477 us and 497 rather 497 uk are now themed worlds for clan recruitment <coughs> so once again that's 477 us 497 uk uh, players will now automatically rejoin the guest chat uh, channel if they were in one when they last logged out. Uh, this will only work after the update goes live, so this should be no problem as of now. And the bank sign in for the clan hall no longer blocks line of sight, so you can cast a telegraph spell through it. The default guest clan chat color is now distinct from clan chat color and can now be customized. Uh, we've relaxed the restrictions on what you can do while wielding the Maxillium. You can now teleport, enter the wilderness, fletch, blow glass, and perform emotes while your Vexillium is equipped. The PvP world Rota has moved to period B, so 560 UK PvP world, 579 US high risk PvP world, 561 UK free to play PvP world, and 580 US LMS competitive. So we have some smaller changes, so this will be able to customize uh, your different clan chats by using the RGB uh, and hex code colors, so do check that out. Purchasing rewards from the Last Man Standing Store now requires 48 hours of playtime as a member. Uh, players can now set how their friend login logout messages are displayed on timeout and off. Iron players are no longer enabled the shared God Wars boss room instead of uh, instances if another player is already fighting in there. Uh, inventory space checks are now performed correctly for cough and loot in the hollowed uh, sepulchre. I can never, still can't say that word right guys. So that's item, uh, so that items only overflow onto the ground if they need to. A typo has been fixed in the Serafina's diary and that's it for everything this week so do check it out and Hopefully you have some luck in the theater of blood. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time later guys